At first, I didn't believe it. Doctor came in. He looked, he said, oh man. I said, what you, what's up? You know, I said, I'm a grown man, you know, whatever it is. He said, okay, well, we see cancer. I said, well, look, my life is in your hands. Whatever you tell me that I need to do, that's where we're going. I went with a total laryngectomy, and that's removing the voice box, just about everything. I met John after he had his total laryngectomy and completed all of his treatment for laryngeal cancer. He was cured, he was ecstatic, but he was uh, having a real problem because he couldn't communicate. I didn't have a voice for about six months. I would point to stuff and I would write down things, but um, I never could use that, um, I forget what they call it, that you hold up to your cheek. I never could use that. I didn't understand what I was saying. I know nobody else could. We went through the options in the voice center to talk about how to get his voice back, which ultimately gets him his life back. We met him to see if he was a candidate for a tracheoesophageal puncture, which is a way to restore voice post voice box removal. It is done with an incision is made between the airway and the food tube. And in that incision, we put something called a voice prosthesis, which is a one-way valve. So air from the lungs can travel through that valve, travel up, vibrate, and make sound. And then the person shapes it into words and phrases and just speaks naturally. I said, wow, this is just like having a new voice box. He did exceedingly well and he moved not only from just having the puncture but to something we call completely hands-free speech. So he has a special apparatus on that allows him to manage his airflow and his voice and he looks very natural and he has a great voice. It'll be five years and they found nothing and I really feel blessed. Just think, I couldn't talk. I said, now I gotta make up for lost time.